<laughs> All right, we are back. We're going to play our game with Dr. Lori. It's a little premature, but we'll go with it. We'll go. Right. We're 45 we're, seconds we're early. We're 45 so seconds fine. early, but we're ringing in fall right now, officially. <laughs> fall has begun here Not everywhere. Yet. Not yet. I mean, in 33 seconds. In 33 seconds. <laughs> because right, it's so, that precise. <laughs> right. So should we keep talking about fall no, until I don't or we think just so. move on? No. But take our word for it. It's happening in 20. One second. Seconds. Fall so is good. beginning. Yes, I can it's do that. It's the most wonderful <laughs> That's the time wrong song, Heather. of the year, and not a few like fall. It's All the right. best time. We better get moving. Uh, we are back with expert antiques appraiser Dr. Lori to look at a few more items sent in by you, our viewers. And Dr. Lori, Lori is joining us from our studio in Bucks County, and so we well, let me get to my handy list here because we have up first. <laughs> I have it. Uh, a cabinet from Barry. Okay. This is a Hamilton manufacturing cabinet. It's a printer's cabinet. So you pull out a drawer, and there are the elements for offset printing there, um, the little printer's pieces, letters and such. And you'll notice it's oak. Oak should tell you all, oh, it must be from the early 1900s if it's oak. Because most of the time, if it's oak, it's from the early 1900s, as this is. Um, it has its original hardware. Do you like these kinds of flat file cabinets? I have these kinds of cabinets in my home. It's I like beautiful. flat files. Yeah. So, well, that's that's kind of the question. Like, I guess part of the value of it is who who would want to pay for it, and so you have to have something to put in there, the flat files, right? right? So you have to have something flat. Like when my mom was in her 90s, she took up painting. She wasn't very good, but it was fun. So we put her paintings in there, <laughs> you know, and uh, other things that are flat. You know, if you really squish the sweaters, you can fit them in there. But real, this all kidding aside, but flat files. So right. a lot of people have those. And they can be functional in our 21st century decorating. Very, it's a beautiful mm. piece. It really is. Yeah. I, yeah. I haven't a clue though. Like I really am kind of stumped. See, I always think like Stump. furniture is expensive anyways. And if it's a solid, I mean, like most of the stuff you get is so manufactured. Okay, she's like, saying you're right on. You are right on. Um, so I, based on yeah. that, am moving up. Are you adding a zero? <laughs> no, I didn't add a zero, oh, okay. but I, I, I made it bigger than what I was going to say. You I'm go going 1500 okay. I'm going 1300 Worth $900. Oh, okay. Her clue, the clue was oak, solid oak, original hardware, and remember that, yes, furniture can be valuable. Everybody poo-poo's furniture, but you need something to put your mom's 90-year-old paintings in. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Yes. Laura, you speak the truth. All right, uh, last, we have a vessel sent in by Wink. Okay, Wink sent in this vessel. Now, it looks like a vase, but it's actually a wine decanter. It's for the vino. Oh, oh clever. <laughs> yeah, it's majolica, which means it is a lead glazed ceramic. It, 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 there's a lot going on here. You got to sort of have the, you know, the dinner party for this stuff. A right. lot going on, don't you think, David? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where you even pour the wine in. Like, I can't yeah, quite. You... <laughs> <laughs> you pour the wine right out near that leaf at the, the top. The leaf at the top. Oh. All right. So yeah. tell us when. I know my wine, David. <laughs> wine I know. <laughs> um, who made it and, and when it's was made, it made? It's made, it, made in Italy. It's made of majolica, which is a lead glazed ceramic, very popular, bright colors, applied ornaments, so all sculptural. And it dates to the middle part of the 1900s. It's a nice, nice piece. Can you and use it's it about if it's lead? Well, no, oh. the lead glaze is on the outside. Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Lead glaze on the outside. But good question. Because some of the some that of was the parent in me. Now, is Lead. this something that like people interested in wine would really like? Wow, we need to have this, and like it would sort of attach to like people who are into visiting wineries. Um, I think the people who are into wine are more into wine. They're looking for the bottle. Okay. <laughs> Not the decanter. Okay. Not the decanter. Okay. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to keep my original guess. I'm going to go $100. Oh, wait, I haven't written it down. Oh, okay. I get the point. Well, you two okay. the program. We've been no. playing for months now. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just going to 50 is what I'm saying. But I feel like oh we can't gosh. count that point. Reassess. It's Italian for winos. It's 300 bucks. All right. Oh, okay. You still won today, though. Did I, I win? I got two points. You okay. got three. Well, we both we both got some points, so that's good. It is. And more important than that, we both got knowledge we from did. Dr. Lori. Dr. Lori, it's and always I got, so much fun. And I got to, and I got to spend some time with you. It is always fun. And a shout out to your great crew. So thanks for today. See ya. Thank All you. All right. We'll Bye, see you next Dr. week, Dr. Lori. Dr. Lori. 
I feel so bad stepping on her toes and talking over her. It's so hard with the technology sometimes. It's hard sometimes. with the Zoom thing because you don't know who's going to talk. Like, who, whose turn is yeah. it now, you know? Yeah. So anyhow, Tough. yeah. But we, we always have fun. And send us your photos for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Just email them with any info you can share to PTL at KDK.com. And then watch for Dr. Lori back here as a regular PTL guest every Tuesday. It is so informational. It really is. It really is. And In it flies mean, by. I know. In the meantime, look for Dr. Lori online and on YouTube. You'll find the links at PittsburghTodayLive.com.